The only thing I could say one would miss about their journey is how I wish I had this maturity in my journey as I was coming along. Mm. The best time when you know that you could have been the better of who you are is when you say, only if I knew what I know. Mm. What I know now, if I had had it before, and as I came along on my path of life, career, profession, whatever it had been, with also the challenges that I had gone through, if I had the amount of, a bit of wisdom that I have, I could have been something better than what I think I am. I had not developed an esteem that says to me, come out, Steve, and say it. Mm. There are moments where, for all of the kids, even a kid somewhere, Nyanga or, or Tlatuz or wherever, mm. they have this amount of light, but the light is overshadowed by maybe the environment they find themselves in. At some stage, something has to burst. But how you break into a real you where your esteem is completely of self is when you've consumed the fear and the complex that you find yourself in when you bring up. How we socialize, how I grew up, I grew up from very humble environment, mm. very poor kid. I wouldn't have a statement or a word to make. As a result, I had no confidence. Mm. My self-esteem was very low. Now, when you say, maybe I had this with me all along, it's only now that I'm saying it. Maybe I've reached a stage and a level of anger where I'm saying, you know what, whatever it takes, mm. let it come out. I can't die with it. Wow. Now, if I had been given the level of confidence at a young age to be this that I am now, I'm sure I could have even gone through better struggles, mm. which would have then made a better man and given me a better understanding of how to come across and rise above challenges. It is only through challenges, Rob, that I grew. Now, maybe the strength that I would have had based on the wisdom, wisdom that I have now would have been at level 6 and my challenges would have been level 12. Then I would have upgraded to level 24. But I'm now at 12 because I had had level 6 capacity and level 12 challenges and then I had to rise and be to the level of my challenges. Maybe the upgrade was, was, would have been even better. Mm. When you accept suffering, when you're saying bring on suffering, because it is only out of serious suffering that you get better. Mm. You will never grow if you don't suffer. The greatest growth happens in discomfort. Those who have not grown are the ones who've always been comfortable. And those who want to grow must accept pain. And those who are still growing are going through pain. Mm. So it is just a choice you make. But beyond that, Robert, it is the level of acceptance. Mm. You just have to accept circumstances and grow. And I'm doing an interview now, a munch. The guy behind the camera, the guy listening at home, even yourself, what I'm saying must not be selfish that it only talks to me. It must also resonate with you. Yeah. That in my utterances, you do not only understand, but you live in what I'm saying. In my speech, you see yourself going through the struggle and then finding comfort mm. to say, oh, you know what, bring on the problems. Yeah. Because it is only out of problems that I'll become better. A stack of coal under pressure becomes diamond. Mm. But if you want to remain coal, avoid pressure. You want to be a precious diamond, bring on the heat. Hey. You know, the, the only time you, you're very comfortable with your struggle is when you know where you are in the struggle. Mm. If you don't know, that's when you get frustrated. If you are, if you are at war or you are in the tunnel, and you suffocate, you understand that I gotta suffocate because there's little air in here, I'm in the tunnel. Mm. But for those who don't understand the sacrifice of being in the tunnel, that there's gonna be less oxygen. When they feel the pressure, they start to get, no, 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 no. We know where we are, we know where we're going. And when you know where you are and where you're going, doesn't matter the amount of pressure because you know the distance and the pressure that comes along. Above all, there's one wish that I want. I want a society that is positive, a people who are confident, and a people who are willing to live beyond the 300 years of depression that we had been exposed to. A people who are going to be conscious of the challenges that our challenges are not going to be solved over 50 years right. of Ghana's independence. 
who we are today, we cannot become overnight success against 300 years of slavery and all these other processes that we had gone through. I want our people to be aware of that. The minute you know that we come 300 years back and uh, to, 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 to address the challenges of 300 years ago won't take 50 years. I'll do simple arithmetic in closure. In 300 years, you've got 70, 140, 210, and then 280, 280. Still have 20 years. These are four generations that we have to go through to go beyond the struggles that we've been put through in 300 years. I'm only 50. I'm only 50. I have not even completed the 70 to be the first generation. And as I want to address the 300 years of slavery and oppression and all that black people had been exposed to, their confidence had been killed. Mentally, they are finished. They've got no esteem. They don't know themselves. They lost their sense of being. If you want to address the 300 years, I need to die. My kids must die. My kids, kids must die. So you need four generations. And the rest of the world is not waiting, is moving forward. Our struggle is long. I want our people to understand that and work towards that. It might not be for now, but keep working forward. Because if you forget where we come from 300 years, shall never move an inch forward.